Hi, I'm Joshua Finn from JNH Aerospace, and this is the JNH Aerospace Elastic Launch Glider Launcher. We have two versions of this, one that just has the handle and the aiming protractors, which by the way have bubble levels on them, so that you can get the proper launch angle for your glider. The deluxe version is a sort of hands-free launching mechanism. So the way it works is what happens when you have an airplane in your hands while you're trying to do it. There we go. So we load the rubber in, load the glider in place. There is a notch setting for the tail. And this notch setting, this requires you to have, uh, if you're buying one of our gliders, you will have this little carbon alignment pin skid back here, um, but we'll also have those available so that you can purchase them for other manufacturers gliders if you want to use a Guru glider or Freedom Flight or Retro RC or what have you. This achieves two important things. One is it provides clearance so you don't tear your tail up on this trigger mechanism, but more importantly what this does is when I launch my glider if I am just pulling back this glider in a normal manner on the rubber band, it's hard for me to tell which of these I'm doing. But, in the scenario where I am using that guide, there is only a small amount of variation, and since we are tilting the glider over, and you'll consistently be tilting the glider over to this side, it will always rock to the same angle on this launcher. So, once I use my bubble levels to set my launch angle, which I've got set, there we go, let's try that, 60 degrees nose up is always a good angle, and about 30 degrees right tilt according to the bubble. Now I've got some bonus angle here, but what is important is I'm always going to get the same angle. Okay, so about 60 degrees nose up, 30 degrees right, press the trigger, glider comes off, and away she goes. Now I have the ability to have my teammate call out that I'm on the right angles and have it the same every time. And then once everything is just right, once nothing is in, no other planes are in the way, I simply press the trigger and off my plane goes into a smooth, happy glide. Now, if for any reason you prefer to not have all of that um, mechanism that does, uh, for, for your trigger assembly, you can still use this the old-fashioned way and observe that even within my hands, it's less accurate. Um, Obviously, I wasn't looking at my bubble levels and whatnot. Um, so, let's try that again. There we go. A little better. But, again, the, the important thing is that by isolating your release to simply pressing a trigger when you're ready, now I don't have to be concentrating on aiming while I'm concentrating on holding a desired pull length. I get the same pull length every time and I can simply use my binder clips to adjust that pull length if I'm not reaching the ceiling or if I'm hitting the ceiling um, on launch. Because all of these parts are removable. What's really cool is in doing that now when you have to get on an airliner to go to the Science Olympiad Nationals, for example, 
you simply unclip all of this mechanism, stick it in your suitcase, and you know, worst case scenario, you could buy a yardstick on site. So, I'm, J &A, I'm Josh Finn from JNH Aerospace. This is the JNH Aerospace Glider Launcher. We'll see you later. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are JNH Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.